the seeker after truth should be humbler than the dust. The world crushes the dust under its feet, but the seeker after truth should so humble himself that even the dust could crush him. The world is a great book, and those who do not travel read only a page. Truth does not become more true by virtue of the fact that the entire world agrees with it, nor less so even if the whole world disagrees with it. The imagination is the power of the soul over the body. Love is that condition in which the happiness of another person is essential to your own. No disease that can be treated by diet should be treated with any other means. The soul is at the same time both young and old. He who is not impressed by sound advice lacks the wisdom of intelligence. The bird of the air has his nest and man his sleep. There are no unpreventable diseases, but only unpreventable people. The function of the wing is to take flight, and no bird can fly with one wing nor can love be sustained without both the pursuit and the companionship. The greater the knowledge, the greater the doubt. The science of governing is a great art. The practice of governing is a great virtue. The first step in the acquisition of wisdom, silence. The second, listening. The third, memory. The fourth, practice. The fifth, teaching others. Be not a traitor in knowledge. For he who does not act according to his knowledge is a traitor. The cure of the part should not be attempted without the cure of the whole. Ignorance is the primary source of all misery and vice. Education is the ornament of the prosperous and the refuge of the unfortunate. The heart's own intelligence is the true guide of human actions. Life and health are the foundation of all greatness. The soul is the traveler, the body is the vehicle. Happiness and sadness, loss and gain, are the two sides of the same coin. He who is filled with love is filled with God himself. Medicine is the science of human beings, while philosophy is the science of the divine. The beginning of wisdom, is the desire for knowledge. The beginning of wisdom is the desire for knowledge. Patience is the key to contentment. The best and shortest way to knowledge of truth is nature. The universe is the ultimate realization of thought. An ignorant doctor is the aid of death. The heart can only feel emotions that the mind can understand. Every action has its pleasures and its price. The love of God is the most powerful healing force. When love enters a person's heart, all other feelings vanish. The only true wisdom is in knowing you know nothing. To acquire knowledge, one must study. But to acquire wisdom, one must observe. The pursuit of truth should be the ultimate goal of human existence. The best way to judge a person's character is by observing how they treat others. A man of knowledge lives by acting, not by thinking about acting. The soul is the light which gives form and order to the body. The wise man is one who never imposes his beliefs on others. Seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. The mind is like a mirror, it should reflect but not absorb. True happiness lies in contentment and self-awareness. The most complete gift of God is a life based on knowledge. The art of medicine insists in amusing the patient. While nature cures the disease, the universe is a grand book, and those who never leave their home read only a page. Do not be satisfied with the stories that come before you. Unfold your own myth. The beauty of the soul shines out when a man bears with composure. One heavy miscants after another, not because he does not feel them, but because he is a man of high and heroic temper.